an accurate acoustic model is fundamental. Without an accurate prediction of the sound field produced by an array, attempts to optimise the array, either by hand or through automation, will never give the right answer. Existing models rely on pressure data balloons. This one is the level at 2 kHz measured on a sphere around a single source. We also measure the phase too, giving the model its proper name, the Complex Directional Point Source Model, or CDPS for short. If you have this data for each source, you can project the output of that source onto any surface, and by adding all of them together, you get the predicted output of all the sources combined. At least that's the theory, but it isn't always true. This balloon was measured in the presence of the rest of the array. It is the output of just the top box, with all the other boxes turned off. When we say measured, we mean calculated with our BEM code. BEM calculations are actually better than measured data most of the time, for reasons we'll see later on. Notice how this balloon is not symmetrical. The output at the top of the balloon is different to the output at the bottom. Moving down the array, we see that the balloon becomes more symmetrical. Remember, only the red box is active. Then down one more. Still more symmetrical. For elements in the central region, we can approximate the balloon from the average of the two centre elements. Then at the end, we flip the balloons generated at the top of the array to create the bottom set. We call this positional data. For each length of array, we'll end up with four unique balloons at every frequency, where we need to recognise the effects of neighbouring cabinets. We'll now look at the red box, measured in the presence of just one neighbour either side. This is relatively easy to measure using standard measuring techniques, though it's even easier to use BEM. We'll call this flanked data. Finally, we'll consider data obtained without any neighbours. This is typically what's been used up till now. And we'll call this isolated data. To test whether taking into account the effect of neighbouring enclosures in an array fixed the model, we needed to measure a complete array. So we set one up on a turntable and measured the vertical polar at one degree resolution. Now we can compare predictions made using the three different types of data to a real measured array. What you're looking at here is the dB error between the CDPS model using positional data and the measured test array. It's minimal, so using positional data, correlation between prediction and measurement is pretty good. Now using the flanked data. Below 630 Hz, there is some increase in error, but on the whole, correlation between predicted and measured is again quite good. Now with isolated data, we have a problem. There's quite a marked increase in error below 1 kHz and 2 kHz, away from the central axis. A summary of the three error plots gives a simple average. Blue is the error between measured and predicted results using isolated data, white is using flanked data, and green is using positional data. Remember the positional data is calculated using BEM. Flanked and isolated data can be measured directly. Above 3 kHz all data is quite similar, though BEM is slightly more accurate. Above 630 Hz, Positional and flank data are quite similar, with BEM again offering the best results below 630 Hz. Very importantly, the blue peaks of the isolated data show two distinct problem areas in terms of errors. What this means is that we can only trust array prediction models using isolated data at high frequencies. Below that, we'll have to rely on guesswork. This is the current state of play with array prediction software using isolated data that doesn't take neighbouring enclosures into account. This may be good enough to figure out splay angles, either manually or automatically, but it would be very dangerous to determine any EQ settings with this level of error. The minimum requirement for altering EQ is flanked data. Full positional data is best, and for that, you need BEM unless you can rotate a 2,000 kg array about each element with 0.05 degree accuracy. Using BEM positional data is key to the accuracy of MLA's optimization process, 
and makes our acoustic model of array behaviour the most accurate model within the industry to date.